स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया new course on bioenergetics of life processes this is a small course constituted of 20 lectures and uh, the major thrust area of the course will be how the biological system evolved and the basic processes or the basic governing dynamics of biological process whereby energy has been captured to self assemble the molecules and how this self assemble structure what we know at its most preliminary form called a cell regulates much of its function using two of its own component one is chloroplast the other one is mitochondria so before getting into the details of this course so this is our first lecture let's think rationally if we believe that life uh, has evolved over billions of years one of the fundamental processes by virtue of which life has evolved on earth or maybe somewhere in universe wherever it is there are two things what must have played a critical role or what is playing a critical role in the very cause or for the very reason that we are alive is the role of energy and how energy has been efficiently used to self assemble the molecules by using enzymes or without enzyme or using a template or without using a template self assembling them in order to convert those matter into usable matter when i talk about usable matter that means say for example we all have seen lot of carbons hydrogens all over the place but you really cannot eat carbon and hydrogen right you cannot just you know grab a chunk of carbon or a coal and you say ha i am getting energy out of it you can burn a coal and get an energy but you cannot eat a carbon coal and derive energy in order to use carbon as a form of energy you probably need to convert carbon into some form of carbohydrate like if you are a human being then glucose or fructose or some other long chain polymers which are only cellulose so the process by virtue of which you can convert or nature can convert these kind of raw materials say carbon nitrogen hydrogen sulfur needs energy and needs some unique structures or unique factories where you can convert it so if we look at from your a uh, school day textbook so it has been always said the sun is the primary source of energy from where we derive mo- almost all our energy of the biological system but there was a paradigm shift which took place in the late 1970s or early 80s where it was observed that deep inside the ocean floor where pretty much the earth crust is formed you see molten magma coming out from the core of the earth there are fissures on the surfaces there are cracks on the surfaces from there the molten magma is to come out 
So, think of a situation where you are having the cold water of the ocean deep into the depth, high pressure and magma coming out from the crust, from the fissures of the crust. So, that magma is fairly hot, but the ocean is cold. So, it is a very peculiar interface. And in such interface where there is no light, absolutely no light, zero light, you saw a wide array of life forms which are surviving there. That changed our way of thinking about what has been taught in textbook for all the years that sun is the primary source of energy. That means, without sun, life also can evolve and that brought us to the second concept which is called chemosynthesis or chemical synthesis. One is the photosynthesis where light dependent synthesis of molecules, energy rich molecules. Similarly, chemosynthesis which is a process of chemical based synthesis of energy rich molecules. So, what we see here the emerging concept is that you need some form of energy to bring about this synthesis of different molecules. Either it can come from physical sources like sun or any other sun or any other stars like sun or it can come from chemicals which are abundant on earth. So, if we talk about those hydrothermal vents where there is no light and life evolves at its brim. So, those are the places where most of the energy is supplied by different form of sulphides which are present there. It could be hydrogen sulphide, it could be iron disulphide. There are so many molecules of different transition metals which form sulfur rich compounds in those regions. They form the basis of chemical synthesis. So, what we see is these energy sources help to self assemble the molecules to form energy rich compounds which are usable. Similarly, our body functions, it needs different currencies of energy. So, all of you have heard about the easiest currency of energy used by body is ATP, adenosine triphosphate and where the phosphate moiety broken, breaks down and generates significant of energy. So, it becomes ADP, adenosine triphosphate to adenosine diphosphate and if again you remove the third one, then it becomes the second one sorry, then it becomes adenosine monophosphate AMP, right. And each one of this breaking of the bond leads to generation of sufficient amount of energy which could be consumed for running the biological processes. Interestingly, the process of ATP synthesis, glucose formation or you know simple sugar formations are fairly linked and these are carried out by specialized organs, organelles rather which has evolved through billions years of evolution on the earth crust and possibly what we call today as a nano machines. These are probably the very, very first of the nano machines which were formed on the floor of earth at the onset of evolution of biological system and as a matter of fact probably the similar kind of situation what has been earlier demonstrated by Urey and Miller experiment long back, long, long, long time back on, a, on the earth crust the first self assembly of the membranes or these energy synthesizing systems which evolve. So, let us make a beginning into this bio 
energetics of life processes okay so this is the title of the course so what we'll be dealing here i told you so the first thing is source of energy what we discussed the source of energy could be sun photo or chemicals which breaks down and generate energy the chemo synthesis or rather the process where chemicals or sun has been used to synthesize energy rich molecules okay when you talk about synthesizing energy rich molecules we talk about molecules like simple sugar like glucose fructose and their individual polymers similarly we talk about energy rich molecules like atp which are being key to run the biological system currency of energy okay and these processes are done in those nano factories which includes your chloroplast and mitochondria so if you look at the course the way i have designed the course is in four different parts we'll be dealing with this whole topic so the first thing i'll be dealing it will be basic uh, bioenergetics that will be part first week 1 basic bioenergetics origin of life bioenergetics and origin of life which is basically this week what we'll be dealing with then thermodynamics aspects of bioenergetics thermodynamics basic biothermodynamics and mechanism of energy transduction so this is what we'll be dealing in next four classes this is our week 1 we'll have a week 2 where we'll be dealing with chemosynthesis and photosynthesis then we'll have a week 3 where we'll be dealing with photosynthetic electron transport and mitochondrial electron transport photosynthetic electron transport and mitochondrial electron transport and on week 4 we will be dealing with proton motive forces 
an ATP synthesis. And of course, in that process, we will be talking about glucose synthesis. This is in nutshell what we will be dealing these four different modules what will be you know dealing origin of life in terms of bioenergetics, thermodynamics of these processes, mechanism of energy transduction, chemosynthesis, photosynthesis, photosynthetic energy transport, electron transport sorry, mitochondrion electron transport, proton motive forces, ATP and glucose synthesis. So, these intense next 19 lectures will help us to appreciate how apparatus like mitochondria, chloroplast helps us to use the energy to self assemble the molecules to form something which could be used by the biological systems. So, this is what we will be dealing now. So, I will be moving slowly one by one take the concepts. So, what is most important is that understand some of this critical concept in the course. So, that you can build up your own story in terms of your research and in terms of your own career. Thank you.